Hi, so lots of you have been asking me lately about how you balance um, your time between creating and between the kind of business side of things and doing all those tasks that are necessary for us to sell our art. So I thought I'd do a quick video with some tips on the best way of combining those two things. And um, the first point I wanted to get to is we need to basically get organized. Firstly, you know, declutter your space, make sure you have a dedicated space set up and that's going to be much easier for you then to get started. And also declutter your mind, you know, have some kind of practice in the morning, whether it's, you know, mindfulness or doodling or meditation or some kind of self-care practice that gets you in the right frame of mind to get, you know, stuck in with the day. So the other thing is as well to have a plan, because when you have a plan, you know, it can be a loose plan, but it just gives some kind of focus for the day, for the week or for the month. OK, so the first point is to declutter, get clear, make a physical space and know what it is that you're trying to achieve. And then number two is to actually chunk out your time into bits of um into portions so that you have say two hours on one task and then three hours on another task. If we are constantly trying to flit cognitively or mentally between creating in that state of flow and then suddenly changing our mind into a business mindset, then it can be, um, it, it's not very efficient basically. So if you say have a business morning where you have three hours and you're gonna tackle all things kind of business related, and then you have a chunk of two hours where you just have creative play in the studio. And you know, so whatever time it is that's available to you throughout your week and throughout your day, just split it into the tasks that you know need doing for your own well-being and to take your business forward and to chunk it out into those times and really stick to it. You've got to show up. And I know there's a lot of talk lately about making sure you're in alignment with what feels right. But for me, if you have dedicated studio time penciled in, don't wait until you feel in alignment for it because it's not always the case. And, you know, it's sorry to be blunt, but sometimes we just have to go in and get stuck in. We can't just wait for alignment and inspiration to happen. So if you have three hours scheduled or an hour scheduled and you don't feel like it, no excuses. You turn up anyway and you just get things done as a <laughs> the resident cat again who doesn't like being left out. So yeah, showing up, make that space, make that time and actually do the work. So point three, because I've got my notes here. Um, like I said, schedule time. So you might have three hours of photography or you might have two hours where you plan out your social media content. And it doesn't mean that you have to schedule it. You can schedule it using an auto scheduler. Um, but it doesn't mean you have to. If you're somebody who kind of likes to be a little bit more intuitive and impulsive, plan out your content for the week or for the two weeks and just have it there as a framework. Know what kind of points you want to address, have some um, information that you want to um, cover in the actual posts and have the photographs there ready and feel free to just post it in the moment if you want to, or like I said, you can auto schedule it. So three things straight away in your art business that you can um, do in bulk to create more space and more time throughout the week is the first one, as I've said, is your social media content. If we're constantly going on um, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is to post, to interact, to do this, that and the other, it's a little distraction throughout the day. And just that tiny distraction is enough to pull you away from work that you could be creating. And I don't know about you, but I disappear down rabbit holes when I'm on social media. So it's limiting that time, bulk create your social media content according to what your plan is for the month or for the six months, and make sure that content is all aligned and fits in. One thing that you can bulk. The second thing is photographs. And that might be photographs for your website, or it might be photographs for social, social media, but make sure you take the time to actually set up and say, right, okay, I'm gonna get some props together, I'm gonna get some pieces together, do some work in progress shots, do some flat lays, all those kind of things, and actually bulk do your photographs. Um, again, if you're constantly stopping to take photographs, it just disrupts the flow of creating. 
And then the other thing that you can do in bulk as well is you can have a dedicated time in the week to do all your kind of business and admin related tasks. So, you know, ordering supplies, um, doing any kind of development work that you need on the business or actually creating your website listings. Have a set time during the week that you're like, right, okay, this is my morning or this is my afternoon of doing those tasks. And if you just get into a little routine, you'll find that everything kind of feeds each other and it all works really nicely. And you're not having to stop and start and stop and start and be really disjointed, which, um, basically means that you don't really do a very good job of anything because you're constantly switching between these mindsets. And finally, my last tip is just to turn off distractions. You know, stop looking at all those other um, artists doing things that you wanted to try and stop, you know, comparing yourself to other people on social media and seeing how much further they are ahead. Um, all of those distractions that take place, just know what they are for you. Being in groups that you don't necessarily, you know, get any value from or don't serve you, cut them out. Just take the information and the things that serve you and just stay laser focused. So removing those distractions. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, that's just some tips from me on how to combine the business side of things with the creative side of things so that you don't have to constantly jump from one mindset to the other and you still get lots achieved. All right, bye for now.